Hi guys, uh, it's Moosey here from uh, CMK Van Life. Hope you're all well. Um, we have decided to uh, pop up into Scotland, just over the borders into Dumfries and Galloway area, and we've come to the small town of Loch Marbon. And uh, I've just stood in the town centre right now. I'm going to show you a building which was built by William Patterson, and he co founded the Bank of England. And uh, we've got a nice uh, statue over here, and I'll come and show you that. It's a very small place, you can walk around it in about 10 minutes. It's got, uh, it's got a burger bar, Chinese takeaway, and a fish and chip shop called the Castle Friar, which is highly recommended. And it's only a few minutes walk from the park up, I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, behind me we have Robert the Bruce, which is, he is said to have come from Loch Marbon. And uh, he was born 12th of July, 1274. And uh, one of the uh, nice pubs in the town is just over there. That's the King's Arms Hotel. And then uh, we're just going to walk back down through the town to the park up and see where we get to. Thank you. And that is Graham's Bakery, where yesterday I actually sat outside Graham's Bakery and I had uh, a toasted wrap with haggis and cheese in. Well, for God's sake, don't tell my mum I'm on a diet. It was, however, one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Loch Marbon is famous for being a, a royal burg and uh, it's changed hands a few different times over the years with the various different royal families and uh, surrounded by three locks so you've got Castle Lock, Mill Lock and Kirk Lock and uh, the park up we've got is on the banks of uh, Castle Lock and it's overlooking the sailing club there's good fishing available uh, there's, a forest, there's a circular walk where you can go and see the uh, Castle Ruins the opposite side of the lock from where we are the circular walk is um, uh, 1 hour and 20 minutes, it's about uh, 5k, I think they said. We walked uh, half of it and uh, came back because Katz uh, has got a bad knee <laughs> and uh, we're trying not to get run over here. And, um, But all you've got to do is uh, drive, uh, what we did is drive straight into the town centre, went to the Castle Friar, got a large fish and chips, and then uh, we took the fish and chips back to the car park behind the bowling green. All you've got to do with SatNav, it's very easy, don't need what three words, don't need a grid reference. With uh, Google Maps for instance, just type in Loch Marbon Bowling Club and it'll take you straight there. The turning to the bowling club is just next to the uh, Church of Scotland. Uh, which is coming up uh, just here now actually. Uh, it's quite a cool building, I'll show it to you. There's also a golf club and a couple of campsites and uh, you'll find those kind of uh, up, that, up that way there. And we're just walking down towards the... Uh, this is the turning you need. So you'll see the Church of Scotland and then you just take a, a turn straight down the lane there and you go past the bowling club. First left gets you to the car park. I'll show it to you from the other end in a second, but first of all we're going to show you some of the uh, facilities. You've got the war memorial there, having some uh, care. It all looks very well kept around here as well. And uh, the architecture is beautiful. These two little houses here are beautiful. Rosalie. 
Bruce Miller. And I'm going to show you one of the uh, cool community facilities that they've uh, put in place here. Namely this park. Look at the entrance to this park and the view that you get. It's an adventure playground park for kids and adults, I think. Well, lots of uh, benches at the top to sit on. Uh, it's all laid out. They've got this uh, zip wire for the kids. They've got like a little adventure playground there. It's all on very soft grass underneath. So the little darlings can't hurt themselves. And then you come down, you've got a beautiful view of the lock and the sailing club over there. Lock Martin Sailing Club. And there's rubber matting down below this uh, ramp for the uh, for the wire, zip wire. Looks pretty good. There's a little nature trail around here if you want to do it. There's tennis courts here, which you can book and play. <clears throat> and they like their wood carvings around here as well. This lovely bench here is carved in uh, the style of uh, a goose, I think, or a swan. Yeah, it's a goose bench. Who doesn't want a goose bench? And then you come down into this little park up, sheltered behind the Bowling Green Club. We were lucky enough to see ladies and men playing bowling yesterday. Um, there's an honesty box here on the wall. We've already fed some notes into it, but you don't have to. And there's a tap there. And if you've got your own hose, you can fill up with water here. There's no other facilities, but there is water and uh, all the locals that we've met so far have been very friendly um, that's the turning in over there where you just turn down the side of the bowling grain and there's also a footpath that leads on a circular walk and you can walk around the whole lock so if like us you've only ever driven straight through Borders and Dumfries and Galloway um, to get to the rest of Scotland. Uh, you could do worse than stop by here, it's beautiful. You've got natural reed beds, forestry walks with carvings, uh, red squirrels, um, circular walk, castle ruins, and uh, I'll put some more of the history down in the description. And uh, you've got get some adventurous types. We've seen paddle boarders, we've seen uh, canoeists, kayakers, fishermen, um, and lots of lily pads and stuff like that and there's some guys out there right now on a beaver floating island uh, I think it's a four person four person paddle board uh, but it's a big square and they've got a dog out there and a picnic so uh, pretty cool place to come and enjoy and lots of people do so put it on your list what a park up thing so that was Lock Marvin hope you enjoyed it Right, we are driving off now to explore Dumfries and the Crichton Park and Memorial Church has been recommended so we're going to see what we can see when we get there. And just 20 minutes away, 10 miles, there is a place in Dumfries called the Crichton. And uh, it's described as a place to breathe. I believe it's got universities and colleges dotted all around it. And it's also the site of um, a memorial church where it looks absolutely amazing. Check this out.
it's a beautiful wide open green space. Uh, we haven't seen any signs saying that uh, parking is chargeable. I should imagine overnight parking is probably not allowed. We'll check that out in a minute. Um, and uh, we're just going to quickly make a bacon sandwich, I think, and um, then maybe go and explore the church. We'll see you guys shortly. Listen to that, several. Doing a selling job there, darling. We got a bit of local bacon from Lot Marvin, didn't we? Yeah. And we got some local There's black pudding in there as well. Local black pudding. And this is going to give us uh, the energy that we need to walk around the Crichton. Mm. Breathing space for uh, dumb freeze, apparently. And, uh, this uh, area known as the Crichton takes its name from uh, Elizabeth Crichton, 1779 to 1862. And uh, there is a statue of her here, um, made possible by the generosity of the Landale Charitable Trust, the University of Paisley, the University of Glasgow, Lockerbrig Sandstone Limited and the Crichton Trust. And this was unveiled by the Prince of Charles as he was back then, Duke of Rothsay, 19th of May 2000. And here she is in all her glory, Elizabeth Crichton. On a beautiful red sandstone plinth. And uh, there's a building there which is now a holiday inn. And there's also a building called Easterbrook Hall, just over there. Quite a few big buildings around the edge of this park. There's a bistro, Crichton Central, Crichton Memorial Church. And there's even a walk you can do around this place. And uh, we're at spot number eight, Crichton Memorial Church. Uh, it just says uh, the Crichton Memorial Church, 1897 was built to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the hospital as a memorial to James and Elizabeth Crichton. It was designed by the Edinburgh architect Sidney Mitchell. The church is a magnificent cathedral style building with a particularly light and sunny interior, as well as regular services, many weddings, concerts and events take place here. And uh, we'll certainly go and explore that in a moment. This red sandstone is brilliant right here, isn't it? Look at those windows. Very good windows. So I've just got a bit of uh, cheeky drone footage of the uh, Crichton Memorial Church, uh, which is amazing. Built out of a local red sandstone, which I really like. The houses um, built out of the same stuff are quite impressive. But we're just walking down the side of it now to see if we can actually get in it. What a cool place. It's got so much glass in it as well. But we only wang the uh, egg whisk because my mother calls them up in the park very, very quickly to have a quick overflow of the church area. Now that I believe is the entrance, is it? And it's going to be closed today, of course. <laughs> but we only came to have a look. Um, so this is Crichton Memorial Church. And I've read that bit out at the other end. I believe, yeah, um, most of it. But church services take place each Thursday at 11.15 and on Sunday at 9.15am. Visitors are welcome any time and you can contact them directly to arrange that. And uh, there's the writing. But, uh, what a cool space this is though, isn't it? That's lovely. We haven't been asked for any money for car parking, so I don't know if there is any parking charges, but I'm sure we'll find out no if there are. There's no machines, is there? No. And uh, popular with dog walkers. And they've planted some new trees as well, haven't they? Don't know what sort of tree this is they planted. One of those Prunus avium. But 
we've uh, done some research and apparently you can park up in the town centre in Dumfries, is that right? Yes. Yeah. There's a car park on the riverbank, I think. Car park on the riverbank. Yeah. Um, and it's free and you're right in the middle of everything. So we'll try that a bit later on. It does say to like arrive late afternoon, early evening when obviously shoppers have gone home and stuff. So after about four o'clock, three yeah. o'clock, yeah. something yeah. like that. So. Cool. Well, we'll have a little wander. Uh, we'll probably see you when we get to town, actually. There's not much more of this to, uh, to really show. But highly recommend you come and have a look. Crichton, breathing space for Dumfries. And uh, massive car park. Other things here as well. Colleges, universities, um, conference halls, bistros. Even a holiday inn. Lovely building turned into a holiday inn. Um, but I'm sure it's... Uh, so it's fine and some really good trees around the outside all right we'll go and find our other park up and we'll uh, let you know how we get on and for now see you in a bit Ooh. well we made it guys uh white sands car park on the banks of the river nith in the centre of Dumfries, which gives its name to Dumfries and Galloway, of course. Behind me is the River Nith, and there's what looks like a weir, but I believe up here they call it a call, C A U L. And they're on the banks of the call, there is comfrey, which is a herb that helps uh, skin disorders. Inside the call itself, swimming around there, are lamprey, an endangered type of eel, and they clamp onto fish with suckers and rasp at them. Uh, we've also got goosanders locally, kingfishers locally and heron locally, all visible from uh, this pathway behind me here. But uh, Reg is all parked up and uh, you can arrive here at 4pm and you get two hours free parking. The car park stops charging at 6pm, um, so in essence you can get here at 4 and you've got overnight parking free of charge until 8am in the morning. Um, and then you get two hours free parking again so really you can get here at four and leave at ten which is pretty damn cool um, and there's a fish and chip shop which I can see up there uh, there's buses that go all over the place there's uh, Pepe's Piri Piri there's Chinese restaurants um, there's a couple of uh, big bars there's one over there called the bank um, bar and tapas and uh, there's another little pub down there next to it and there's a street just up between the two and there's nightclubs and takeaways galore up there as well so if you want to be right in the mix and um, and you don't mind a little bit of uh, rowdiness I'm not sure what it'll be like later on but we will let you know in the morning I'm not going to put the drone up because it's a city centre um, but it looks pretty cool I'm going to show you the river now but it's very noisy So as you can see, the River Nith, beautiful old bridge down there made out of the local red sandstone. There's a Morrison supermarket and fuel station within six minutes drive of here. And they have got everything you could possibly need. There's the call, as they call it, with uh, swans. And there's even a guy stood down there in waders fishing at the moment. As you can see, the water is pretty, uh, running pretty quickly. And there's a beautiful old bridge goes across there. Um, but you've got all your bus, uh, bus stops and everything just up there and links to everywhere and uh, Dumfries looks pretty cool that's uh, the car park, it's quite a long car park actually and there's a lot of spaces, we came and checked it out earlier no way to park uh, earlier on but all the shoppers seem to clear out as the day goes on so uh, this is where we are got a couple of spaces next to us but um and you can see a couple of other camper vans have arrived but uh, we'll let you know we get on uh we might even have a drink and uh record something daft that we forget about and then discover when we get home all right see you guys later well this is the morning after um sunday morning in dumfries and uh at the white sands car park by the weir or the call 
and uh, what a beautiful day beautiful day we went uh, over there last night to the coaching horses that was uh, so the world's end is up that way fourth best pub in Dumfries if you listen to uh, TripAdvisor went down that end to a little one on the corner there the coaching horses flagstone floors and blues guitar solo um, I think I got a clip of that I'll pop it in in a minute but considering that this is a town centre location there were no idiots no crime concerns no no boy racers um, for a free park up this is absolutely incredible if you want to be right in the middle of things and um, and be close to commerce and pubs and restaurants and have a night out I mean the action is just literally over the road there and then you've got more, more town as you go up, in, up there, there's nightclubs everything but we had no issues whatsoever parked up just here and um, slept like a baby that uh, we're in the background that call does make a constant noise but it's like <clears throat> A white noise, your brain just cancels it out after a few minutes. And uh, so I slept like a baby and uh, hardly needed any encouragement to sleep. Just um, just the three Scottish beers and then the three pints and then the uh, half a bottle of um, Speyside single malt, Tam Naboolin red wine cask single malt. Got it on offer. Um, <laughs> and like I say it's very relaxed with the coming and goings but we haven't seen a single person in uniform there's no um, no pay and display machines as far as we can tell it's uh, completely free of charge no way to pay which is good so anyway we're going to say goodbye to Dumfries thank you to people of Dumfries for the hospitality uh, it was great fun and uh, we will definitely be back <coughs> This is uh, a very, very good park up. Unexpected surprise. And, uh, and also, the, uh, walking around the Crichton was uh, amazing. So, um, you'll have seen the footage for the Crichton by the time I say this anyway. So, <laughs> right. Cheers, guys. I'm going to drive now.